What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Tati Beauty Palette Volume 1. This is a beautiful palette that I am going to be swatching and trying to see if it's actually worth the money. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the video and follow me on Instagram. So let's get started. The Tati Beauty palette is very very matte and as you can see it is volume one and I always have trouble opening packaging so if you know me I always struggle with this so let's wait until I could open it up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video so this is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 and it is in a matte finish and it does get a little dirty very easily as you can see my fingerprints are on it already and it does look like a book which is very pretty and very nice to look at. These colors are so beautiful and it came with a plastic attached to it which I took off look at those colors those colors are magical and I'm hoping they're easy to blend I have not swatched any of those yet so I am waiting for this video where I can swatch and show you guys how it looks on my hand and see if we actually like this palette based on the swatches So as you can see, there's different colors, there's glitters, there's a highlighter there that is an eyeshadow and we can use it as a highlighter. There is different blacks, there's metallics, there's glitter metallics, there's mattes, there's a lot of different options. My favorite is of course the glitter. Um, I love glitter so I'm really excited to see how it's going to look. On my wrist I mean on my hand so I'm going to start swatching the colors row by row on my hands and let's see how this turns out that's a beautiful burgundy color um, that I can use for the fall. I feel this palette was made for the fall because of the colors and the color schemes that it has. Wait, we have a little problem there. That color came out a little bit wrong. Let me do it again. Definitely. <laughs> Silly me. Now the next one, and finally the last glitter one. I was trying not to poke it with my nail. Oh my goodness, it is literally wet. It feels like a beautiful wet type of, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know the, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So if you see I put my hands down, it's because I'm wiping it off with a wipe, with a makeup remover to get ready for the next set of colors that I'll be swatching. So now I'm going to start with row number two, which is a type of highlight row. Very champagne and very light color. Let's see how this is going to look. Ooh, I am loving it. Oh, am I not pressing too hard? Am I not seeing these colors? Oh, there they are. They are so beautiful and especially that glitter. I think I ordered this palette just for those glitters. I'm not kidding. I think I I literally did. Please don't blame me. Now I'm going to get ready for row number three, 
which is a little darker than row number two. Um, I'm going to start pressing with my finger very lightly and hoping that the color comes... Oh, wait, a little piece fell off. <laughs> oh no, that's me staring at it. I think I did my nail too hard or something. So let's continue. So I have the color on my finger and... <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay, so the glitter is amazing. I'm not all that with the first color, which is the matte. Um, but overall, it looks pretty decent. And I'm blending it now to see how crazy that would look. But it looked pretty decent. I can... Now I'm getting ready to swatch row number four, which is this beautiful orangey color row. I think this is great for the fall. And let's see how this turns out. So I'm pressing lightly on each. And that's how it looks on my hand. But I noticed something weird on my finger it's starting to like crack do you see that or is it just me that it's like cracking and if I press on my finger it's like flaking out do you see that oh if it, it came off but I think it's maybe the wipe I kind of mixed together the residue of the wipe I'm hoping because I really really like this row these colors are very beautiful and I am liking this row however that flakiness I did not enjoy I think though it was the wipe so it's my fault so let's continue on with the next row which is the browns I have brown eyes, so sometimes I try to add more brown into my eyelids. So here is the beautiful browns with the metallic and the glitter. I think these are very, very beautiful. Not my favorite, but I am liking that I can easily blend it together. Um, and also I noticed that you have to press on the glitter for it to go on your eyelid not kind of just like rub it on because it will hurt you as you can see here I had to use a brush to try to blend it as much as I could and I was able to succeed with that Now let's continue with the last row, which is the blacks. These are beautiful as well, and this is very rich and pigmented. This black is like very black. That glitter is amazing. I am very excited, guys, to swatch this. I think the residue of the white that I had before kind of made it smear like that but everything looks perfect everything looks intact and it looks very shiny and very beautiful and it looks very easy to make a smoky eye look So as you can see, I'm wiping down my hands with the Wipe Makeup Remover of Neutrogena. But I do want to tell you guys, please let me know if you actually enjoyed this video and if you actually have this palette and if you're loving it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope everyone has a great day. And look at my face. I'm like literally looking at the palette very close. Someone please give me a magnifying glass. But 
I am enjoying the palette. I do recommend this palette, especially because it's in the $40 range. I think it's great for those glitters and for that big mirror. I think it's a great price. Um, I'll be doing another video regarding how it looks on my eyes. But thank you guys and I hope everyone has a great day and love you as always. Bye guys.